right, everybody. My lovely, lovely imps, we are gonna check out another video from Sunny V2. Uh, we recently watched Sunny V2's video on Mr. Beast, and it was incredibly, incredibly disappointing. But I wanted to give him a fair shake and react to another one of his videos. Uh, apparently, I I reacted to one of his videos a long time ago, but I I think it was his boogie video, and I don't really remember much about it. I feel like I was I probably had a pretty middling reaction to it, because um, I don't really remember the reaction. Uh, but I've never seen his, uh, his video about dream. So we're going to watch, uh, I'm going to watch his dream video and see what's up with it. I want to find out if Sonny's style is the same across these videos. If he always kind of slants the video as much as he did with the Mr. Beast video. Um, for people who are watching on YouTube, hello, don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Uh, uh, during the live stream of this, we just reacted to the Mr. Beast video, and it was very bad. Um, it was the Mr. Beast Chris Tyson situation, and it was incredibly manipulative video. Uh, there were parts where he was basically uh, uh, tr mind reading people on the screen, and he was just putting his own feelings on the screen as if they were facts, saying like, Mr. Beast is awkward with an arrow, like not an arrow, but like with a message over Mr. Beast that says that Mr. Beast is being awkward, even though in the video, he was smiling just like normal. Um, we're gonna watch another video and see how it goes because I kind of want to find out what this guy's all about. This guy's a pretty big channel. Sunny V2 has 3.38 million subscribers uh, from 167 videos. So this guy has um, definitely blown up in recent memory and his latest videos have been getting a lot of views. Although I will point out that he had about a 20,000 uh, sub loss after he posted his Mr. Beast video. And um, uh, we we went and looked through YouTube, uh, just searched through YouTube, Sunny V2, Mr. Beast reactions, and the reactions seem to be pretty negative. So a lot of people don't seem to be liking his Mr. Beast uh, video. And part of the reason is probably because it's very bigoted. The video that he made about Mr. Beast was just bad. Well, Let's watch this video. We're gonna find out why Dream's, Dream's face reveal facing. was an awful decision. By the way, shout out. Thank you very, very much to Good For Gabby, who just uh, gave us a very generous uh, uh, YouTube super chat. Thank you very much, Good For Gabby, for the incredibly generous $20 super chat. That is cool as hell of you. Thank you for supporting this show. This show is 100% viewer supported, so it means the world to me. All right, let's check this out. Let's see. Let's see what this video is all about. Let's do it. Reveal could qualify as the worst mistake made by a content creator ever. And we're going to outline several reasons. <laughs> no, I don't think that. I don't think so. <laughs> a little bit dramatic, okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We have seen, just in the time that I've been a streamer, we have seen streamers accidentally um, negligently discharge a firearm into their own computer setup. We have seen people stick a fork into a toaster and get electrocuted. We have seen people uh, film themselves doing crimes and promptly get arrested. This is, there is no possible way that Dream's face reveal is the worst decision ever made by a popular content creator. Not even close. Not even close, dude. <laughs> Reasons why, beginning with possibly the most crucial point, being that Dream's unseen face was one of the only things keeping him relevant. For example, Dream was able to appear in Mr. Beast's 65 million- Hold on, let me see. Let's take a look at that. Hold on, let's look- let's bring up the social blade for Dream. Is that- is that a true claim? I don't mean to be a debunk Andy here, but... Dream's got a got a B plus and oh he doesn't no public subscriber numbers that's weird isn't it he has been he has been well he's still gaining subscribers 
Like, look at this. Like, the rate of gain has slowed down, but that's natural. You're always going to have, I mean, there's only so many viewers in the world. Eventually, your rate of gaining of subscribers, but he's still, like, last month, he gained 100,000 subscribers. Two months ago, he gained 200,000 subscribers, and his video views are still doing very well. So I don't know if that's true. His video views were last month, or... Yeah, as of last month, his video, or, or sorry, sorry, as of yesterday, his video views were up 2 million video views. His monthly average is plus 34 million views. Nah, dude, sorry, man. I don't think that's true. His videos are doing just fine, and he's still gaining views. So he, that's not true. And it's been a long time since he did his face reveal. To be fair, this video, when did this video come out? This video came out three months ago. When was the dream face reveal? Sorry, I, I wanna, I don't, I don't, again, I don't mean to be a debunk Andy, but. Wait, the dream face reveal was in October of 2022. This video came out less than three months ago. Approximately, uh, uh, Approximately three months ago was when this video came out. Nah, dude. Sorry. That's a that's just a false statement Sorry, bro. I I you're wrong He revealed his face in October and he's only gained Subscribers by an enormous amount since then in view 2020 rewind simply because he hadn't shown his face yet which accompanied hundreds of commentary type videos teasing and clickbaiting what dream apparently looked like dream did a face reveal 2.6 million views did dream just face reveal 19 million views dreams face reveal 21 million views all of which providing insane amounts of traffic to dream with absolutely no effort required on his end there was then the monthly twitter get together where everyone focused on dream while trying to figure out who he was including this classic post reading, hashtag dream out. Can we discuss how he catfished 20 million people into believing he's some cute ripped twink while he looks like this IRL? Yes, this is a picture of dream. Yes, he uses his brother as a body double for merch pics, which accompany numerous posts by dream himself, where he was able to capture the public's attention by teasing a hand, glove or mouth, prompting even more traffic toward dreams brand and videos. Now dream did explain in this face reveal that he was tired of people going to insane lengths to try and expose what he looked like. The people are trying to of leak my face trying to find out what I look like trying to there's too there's too many it's a, a, a little a little just a, a tiny tiny bit too much yet perhaps he was simply unaware of just how relevant these incidents were keeping him additionally since okay but that's not true though he's still relevant we just checked it right now and we just looked at what his stats were three months ago when Sunny v2 made this video and he was doing just fine he was still relevant he was still growing by millions of views, growing by millions of views, not just getting views, growing. So, uh, don't know, bro. Almost all growth on YouTube comes from some kind of uncomfortability. Dream should have recognized this feeling as a signpost to let these attempted exposés continue, giving him wave after wave of free relevancy. Why? On top of free relevancy. why? Wait, that's deranged. Why? He's, he said that it was making him uncomfortable and that people were trying to stalk him. Why would you ever continue? That's just stupid. It's just a stupid argument. Okay, so, so far in this Sunny V2 video, he's been verifiably factually wrong and also just made an incredibly stupid argument that Dream should have continued to suffer under something that he explicitly said he didn't like, which is people trying to break into his private accounts to find out what his face looks like. That is just a very dumb thing to say. Especially because as we now know, he's doing just fine. Dream's anonymity simply gave people a reason to follow his story as a creator. It made the whole thing fun for the audience. As mentioned in this article by PC Gamer, fangirls seem to often perpetuate the mystery with fan art, unapologetic standing videos, and fantasy situations, with Dream's face reveal putting an instant end to- Okay, but fangirls do all kinds of things. Fangirls also do erotic role plays 
of uh, er erotic self-cessed role plays as the onceler on tumblr.com. Like, what is that? Who cares? All of this, the illusion of him being a supermodel, unusual, or perhaps a god amongst men is gone. He really is just a guy you'd see on the street. Dream also seemed to ignore just how much of the brand itself was based on his hidden image. His song Mask, which has over 30 million views, only exists because he was a faceless creator, while on his merch site, almost every piece of clothing still uses the anonymous Dream smiley face. This okay, but he can still do that. He can still use the mask and wear the mask. He just did a video where he revealed his face. Like, what is this? What is this argument? This isn't even an argument. Like, is, 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 like, I don't know. Like, there are, I don't, I don't even know. Like, I don't even know what an equivalent would be. It's like, uh, if there was a wrestler who had an, a costume and then he posted a video where he wasn't in the costume, but then the next video, he's just back in the costume because he did a video as himself and not as his wrestling character. Like this happens literally all the time that people do videos out of their costumes. Like does he think that like, because, um, because Elijah Wood was a hobbit in the Lord of the Rings that he has to spend the rest of his life in a hobbit outfit or else he'll be like irrelevant? Like, does he think that, like, I don't know, uh, uh, Robert Downey Jr. has to live the rest of his life in the Iron Man suit in order to be relevant? This is, like, stupid as hell. Something that's charmingly simple, unique, and memorable about the smiley face, which when combined with the classic Dream Green, makes for incredibly distinctive branding, as can be observed in the case of his Minecraft but nobody has to stop using the branding. In fact, I bet if we go right now to Dream's website and his videos, he probably still uses the branding. Just because he took the mask off one time doesn't mean that he can't wear the mask again. What is this? What is this? This is so stupid. Skin. However, it now feels as though most of this branding is fairly redundant as we now know what he looks like, yet at the same time. <laughs> No, guys, we know what we know what what Spider-Man looks like. So none of the Spider-Man merch will sell anymore. Wh what the fuck is this guy talking about? This is the dumbest shit I've ever seen in my entire life. Holy shit. This guy is so stupid. What the Damn fuck? Dream has made no effort to change his branding to match his real life image, which would also be a <laughs> Why would you do that? Why would you ever do that? Do you, do you think- oh my god, that's so stupid. Does he think he's just gonna make a t-shirt with like a photorealistic image of his face on the shirt? Hold on, like, hold on, hold on, like. It's just like, hold on, it needs to be like this. Yeah, it needs to look like this shit. Hold on. I- I need to- <laughs> Where? This is your new shirt, okay guys? This is the new merch. It's this, okay? Here you go. You're only allowed to have merch that looks like this now. If, if you don't wear a mask 24 seven, this is the only merch you're allowed to have. You heard it here from fucking Sunny V2. This is so dumb. Poor strategy as he'd then have to change everything to something completely new. It's almost Why? like the channel- Why? Why would you have to change it to something I'm sorry, did I miss here? Let me just- I am. Dream has made no effort to change his branding to match his real life image, which would also be a poor strategy as he'd then have to change everything okay, okay. to something sorry, completely sorry. new. Sorry. I misunderstood what he was saying there. But still, to the previous question, why? Why would he ever have to change the branding at all? Work. It's almost like the channel is still represented by a green and white smiley face. Although when you think about Dream, you instead think about this image representing some kind of unexplainable inconsistency. For may maybe for a baby. Maybe for a actual baby that does not have object permanence. It is true that you can't imagine a brand that has an image and the person who operates that brand, maybe you can't keep those two things in your head at the same time, but I assure you, most humans, including toddlers, can achieve this uh, Herculean task. For most channels, adding a face can provide the brand with a strong dose of recognizability. However, in the case of Dream, his face reveal seemed to do the opposite and instead weakened what was already working. What Citation needed.
Again, we just showed his stats on stream. Citation needed. The opposite is true. His brand is doing just fine. It, he's huge and he's gaining views still. He's gaining subscribers. Like, not not just gaining. Well, yeah, he's he's sort of like the subscriber growth is like sort of lowered, but he's still gaining subscribers and his views are growing. I don't this know, reveals whatever. and what should be obvious was that a face reveal was never necessary in the first place. With over 30 million subscribers, Dream had built the largest Minecraft channel in YouTube history and never had to I'm show- I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't want to be too pause, pausey about this, but he just said the reason why he wanted to do the face reveal. He literally just said it and you just played the clip of it. He said he wanted to do the face reveal because he was tired of people being psychopaths about what his face looked like. He said it in plain words, you stupid idiot. His face once. None of his thumbnails ever used an over the top surprised face, yet still achieved sometimes over a hundred million views, while the content itself was more entertaining without a face cam in the bottom left hand corner. Dream's unique strategy was definitely out of the ordinary, however, it was still clearly working extremely well. So if the content wasn't broken, none of this is an argument. And then why was Dream trying to fix it? What was Who said. Are you. Okay, I actually think Sunny V2 might be stupid. No, no one said he was trying to fix anything. He just didn't want to do it that way anymore. And he also explicitly stated why he wanted to change it. In the video you played less than a minute ago, literally right there, in this, right, this spot, one minute ago, approximately one minute and 20 seconds ago, what was his motive for revealing his face? You just played the clip, you idiot! Oh my god, this guy's well, videos are Well, Dream seemed to imply that the plan was to make in real life content with his- Yeah, can we go back to Sunny V1? I think the V2 model might be busted. There's some, uh, there's some game-breaking bugs in the Sunny V2 model. Friends. A lot of you are probably wondering, why now? Why are you finally revealing your face? My goal was to just start doing things, get out, meet creators. Say hi to my friends, finally. I will make more IRL content as well, where I'm with me and my- Wow, super, super reasonable. I don't want people stalking me, and I want to just be able to live my life like a normal person and not have to pretend that I'm in a mask all the time. Wow, super reasonable. I bet Sunny V2 is gonna come up with some hot take, like, uh, like it's over for Dream because Dream wants to live a normal life friends and we do things and I'll do Minecraft content as well where I'm in real life like there is a cool video idea I had a long time ago that I couldn't do until now and while this was an excellent plan with a lot of potential upside his execution on the idea has been far from impressive it's been is that true I'm sorry I I should just I should have just left the 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 uh here I'm just gonna leave the social blade stats up real quick just so we can keep going back to them it's been less than impressive He's gained 34 million subs in the last 30 days. So, whoops, whoops. In a quarter of a year since Dream uploaded his face reveal, yet there hasn't been a single upload since. Dream stated that he was going to move into a content house with George and Sapnap, yet the only two pieces of content that have come out of their group house are a pretty basic Christmas stream, as well as a clip explaining why they hate living in the house together. George and Sapnap seem pretty busy doing the banter podcast, which I will credit as being a pretty entertaining show. However- So he's doing just fine. He's working on slightly different projects. Sorry, I gotta, I gotta. Oh yeah, speaking of which, I just wanted to show this here. Here's Sunny V2's posting negative 10K subs two days in a row. Two days of losing 10K subs since he published his latest video. Looks like maybe Sunny's the one who should be worrying about his own content. Dream isn't even one of the hosts and has only- God, why does Sonny have the worst speaking cadence? His videos aren't even doing that good. Been featured on the podcast once, which happened two months before the face reveal was even uploaded. It seems like the only real upside Dream got from his face reveal was 50 million views on the video itself, another couple million views from other people talking about it, as well as an appearance in the recent Mr. Beast Antarctica video during which he barely said a word. I watched Mr. Beast's video. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but changing your content 
so that you can fly to Antarctica with Mr. Beast seems like a pretty major reward in and of itself. Like, if you were as a content creator had like a persona that made it impossible for you to do cool things, it seems like it would be valuable to you just by itself that you can now do content where you travel to fucking Antarctica. I don't know about you guys, but I have never had the opportunity to go to Antarctica. And if I had the opportunity to go to Antarctica, but I wouldn't be able to do it because I have to wear a stupid mask all the time, I would probably take off the mask so that I could go to Antarctica. Let's continue this stupid video about Antarctica and I noticed the dream was in it and he was extremely boring and even then you have to question if this kind of exposure is all that beneficial for dream most personality based creators with a similar following to dream have gradually exposed their faces to the world over a number of years and have built up a tolerance for what that kind of experience is really like additionally these others have also got a feel for how to act on camera which is a skill set in and of itself in Anthony Padilla's I spent a day with dream video dream experience Explained that his main skill or edge over other YouTubers related back to his Minecraft skill. I feel like I didn't blow up because I have this like amazing personality. I think I blew up because <laughs> of my ideas, the quality of the idea and the execution of the idea versus yeah. the quality of like the personality. And just because Dream knows how to play Minecraft in a unique way doesn't necessarily mean he'll be an entertaining on screen personality. Then 34 million. Maybe I should just, maybe to be fair, I should go back and we should look at um, at when this video came out, which was January of 2023. In January of 2023, hold on. Yes, for the month of January 2023, Dream gained 200,000 subscribers. Seems pretty good to me. And there's the question of what happens to a person's self-image and outlook on life when they go from completely anonymous to having their face known by 50 million people within the space of a month. Sure, Dream likely had a rough idea about what this kind of exposure was going to be like, given he already had so, 30 million- Real quick, I'm just going to take a moment here to talk about the, t the something that annoys me about this type of content. There's nothing inherently wrong with discussing, um, like, with discussing- uh, Dream's face reveal, but when you get to the point that you have to lie about the actual statistics, that you have to say weird, deranged things like he can't have the smiley face on his uh, merch anymore, you're just you're just being wrong and and like like doubling down. It's like why make a video that where where why make a video talking about this subject in like a discursive manner? Uh, when you're just going to say things that aren't true and then stick to your guns no matter what the evidence shows. I just don't get it. it it's... Uh, it doesn't make sense to me. If you want to make a curiosity video about Dream, why would you stick so hard to the idea that it was a mistake when there is no evidence that it was? I don't know, whatever. Million followers and Is it clout chasing? People said clout chasing, but but I feel like... I feel like you would have made more, you would have gotten more attention, and you would have gotten more clout from making a video that was truthful and not annoying and stupid. Like, these arguments are dumb. Who thinks that it's true that Dream can't use the smiley face mask anymore because he showed his face one time? Is that really more entertaining than just saying, wow, Dream changed his content. Why did he do it? Here's a video that explains one of the reasons why he did it. Was it a good idea? Well, his content's doing fine. Hey, look, Dream also got to go to Antarctica. Seems like maybe it was an interesting decision and he's gonna do just fine. Is that really like, are those really like, is one really gonna get you more clout than the other? I don't know. Does it not get the clicks? I feel like it would. I feel like it would get the clicks if you if you said uh, the 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 uh, the logic behind Dream's face reveal. I feel like that would get just as much clicks as why Dream's face reveal was an awful decision, and then a video where you don't actually make any arguments for why it was an awful decision, except for saying things that are blatantly false. I don't know, whatever been through drama in the past, but generally those were attacks on Dream the Persona as opposed to Dream the Person. It, it, just, seems, so it just comes off as weird. It just comes off as very weird and parasocial.
Flow, Antonio rebranded to just So Flow, stating that the only reason he did it was because it's much harder to attack a brand than a person. Well, Dream kind of did the opposite to this in exchange for, as mentioned previously, very little upside. Dream. Yeah, but So Flow is isn't So Flow's channel like dead as hell? So this is an all another stupid argument. Isn't SoFlo like like does SoFlo's channel even exist anymore? I'm sorry, I just need to confirm real quick. I I SoFlo's channel has a D grade on so, on Social Blade and he's done nothing but lose views. and lose subscribers. SoFlo is bleeding subscribers, over a thousand subscribers a month. He, he hasn't gained subscribers since mid 2022. And be, keep in mind, those stats existed when this guy made the video. What a stupid video. now has to deal with attacks that simply didn't exist beforehand, which began as soon as his face reveal went live. For example, He's Ugly began to trend on Twitter instantly, and while this had little to do with the channel and could certainly be dismissed as untrue, it still likely had some kind of hit to his ego and possibly even his desire to add his face into future videos. Then- Do you think that's true? Oh, here we go. The... Oh, he's doing it again. Thank God for Lucky7. Hold on, I gotta find out. Let's find out this relevant Twitter account real quick. I gotta find out how relevant this super tw this this Lucky7 account is. Lucky7. We needed the opinion of a 90 follower K-pop uh, stan account. Thank God for the incredibly high quality zero like 90 follower account that's calling dream ugly why would dream a guy who's getting 35 who whose content grew by 35 million views last month give an absolute shit what lucky seven ever has to say internet telling you that you're unattractive isn't already bad enough, Dream then had to deal with a wave of Twitter allegations, which began only one day after his face reveal was uploaded. The YouTuber trending right now already face revealed to me years ago- Okay, what does that have to do with his face reveal? What does him being a- what does him being accused of grooming have anything to do with his face reveal? What? When he was flirting with me when I was a minor through his personal snap number and Twitter, which accompanied an image captioned, he's only face revealing because he's scared I'll do it first. Dream responded to these allegations by stating, in these DMs, there are no inappropriate comments whatsoever. It was just friendly conversation. In these screenshots, them being 18 years old is mentioned in their bio. And I also very clearly asked them for their age. I did not act inappropriately with this person and any attempt to equate these messages to grooming is not only disgusting but is insulting to victims who actually experience grooming and still have trauma as a result. The drama ended with the two claiming that they plan on taking legal action against each other. However, this wasn't the end of Dream's unfavorable situations as he then gets some of his Snapchats leaked. This dude got his Snapchat absolutely exposed with all of his thirst traps and uh, well, let's just say it's absolutely embarrassing to say- Okay, what the fuck is going- what the fuck? Grooming allegation, face reveal, someone stealing and leaking his private photos, none of which are in a, are like inappropriate. And Sunny V2 is using this as evidence that the face reveal was a mistake. Okay, guys, I have to say it. Sunny V2 is a schizo poster. poster. There is no other way to describe this type of just like randomly tying uh, completely unrelated things together. This is just, I'm sorry, it's just true. I, I have been trying to avoid coming to that conclusion so far, but that's all that this is. It's just associating things that aren't associated for no seeming reason that is comprehensible from anyone outside and just asserting that it's true. What does the fate explain to me? 
what a face reveal has anything to do with him getting accused of grooming and saying, actually, no, here's the photos. I don't think anything happened. And secondly, what does that have any, how does either of those things have anything to do with some weirdo leaking his private Snapchat account? I think Xander Hall said there was a legit grooming allegation. I'm not talking about the legitness of the grooming allegations. I'm just trying to understand how a grooming allegation reflects on the business decision to reveal his face in any way at all. Like, at all. Like, how does that, except for like them happening at chronologically similar times, how does that have anything to do with anything? Where are we gonna get a are we gonna, are we gonna get any explanation? Let's find out. The least, the most socially awkward vibes I've ever seen from any content creator. Like this guy, I'm convinced has no social interaction besides talking to George and Tommy in it on Discord. The point we're trying- Okay. So some random guy just saying mean things about Dream's personal stolen Snapchat? I think, I think, here is that I think this channel, I think I know what Sunny V2's channel is. It's a parasocial nightmare. Sunny V2 has a weird parasocial attachment to other creators, and he injects himself into their lives like a creepy stalker. Face reveal has given unprecedented access to his personal life. Every attack on him now holds significantly more weight and could potentially reduce his motivation to be a YouTuber altogether. Dream's other problem was that his face reveal was uploaded at the worst time imaginable. Major changes to a channel are always best executed when things are on the up and up, because if you change things during a slump in your channel, it looks like you're acting out of desperation, and it certainly felt like this in the case of Dream. His what? Oh, oh, how, what? No, that is not true. <laughs> Apparently, if, you're, uh, if your channel isn't growing, you should never make a change ever because it will look desperate. You should just let your channel crash and burn. But also, it's not true. His channel's doing just fine. Burger King foot lettuce. It's like, it's like the reverse of Dylan Chillin. This guy's vo vocal tendencies are like an inverse of Dylan Chillin. You should just let your channel die. If you are go, if you are, you don't want to look desperate. His channel had fallen from gaining 100 million views per month to around 20 million views per month, and to randomly upload a face reveal after having your lowest monthly viewership in over two and a half years wasn't exactly the best look. Dream had also seemingly ended his extremely successful Speedrunner vs Hunter series and could without a doubt see Minecraft's decline in YouTube popularity. While I could be completely wrong with this, his face reveal felt like it was coming from- Imagine- hold on a second. Imagine- I just want you to listen to what the argument that this guy's making. Sunny V2 is arguing that the face reveal looks desperate because uh, your channel is going down. And, and Dream in this video within minutes ago just said that he wanted to make changes because he didn't want to do just Minecraft content anymore. So imagine thinking that this is a matter of desperation when you also, he, Sunny V2 just stated that everyone knows that Minecraft content isn't as popular on YouTube anymore. Dream doesn't want to make as much Minecraft content. Minecraft content isn't popular anymore. So he decides to make the decision to do more IRL content. Very logical. But Sunny V2 goes, this is completely desperate and seems very nonsensical. From a position of, I can see my channel dying, so let me upload this for some quick short-term relevancy, which probably isn't going to sit well with the audience over the long term. Well, good news is, uh, this video was disproven by history. Three, three months later, Dream is still doing fine. SoFlo Antonio's channel sucks, which v, Sunny V2 claimed that he should have done what SoFlo Antonio did. Sunny is a cringe lord. 
Uh, that's that's two separate videos, three months apart, both of them equally as weird and manipulative in the messaging, uh, just deciding on a conclusion and then lying, literally just not presenting the truth in order to get to your end. What an absolutely dumb video. Well, at least we now know where Sunny V2 stands uh, as far as uh, content goes. We, we know what to expect from Sunny V2 these days. My god. Every, yeah, every single point that Sunny makes is just like a, a okay and? My favorite one though is like the argument that, that he should have started putting his actual face on his merch. As if like, people don't have logos. Like, I, I, I don't know man, this is just... God, that was really stupid. That was a really stupid video. I don't know what else to say. There's not much else to say about it. Uh, boy, that was dumb. If you had fun reacting to this Sunny V2 video with me, Demon Mama, make sure that you press like, subscribe, ring the bell, and join my Discord, discord.gg forward slash Demon Mama. It's a bumping community. Our channel is growing like crazy, and we would love to have you be an imp with the rest of us. So please, uh, like, comment, and subscribe. It means the world to me.